Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Thursday's trading session, the 29th of June 2017. Please be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs and trade signals, signals and market updates from leading providers. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, let's look at the stats first and foremost. Uh, US markets certainly uh, ripping to new highs, or not new highs, but certainly uh, reversing the uh, the actual losses for the week and certainly surging overnight. We had the uh, US markets finishing a whopping 1.4% higher on the NASDAQ, which was very, very impressive. Uh, Asian markets certainly following suit. The uh, Nikkei up 0.45%, Hang Seng up 1.1%. And the Shanghai up 0.5%. Now, European uh, stocks or European um, uh, equities certainly uh, have reversed the actual initial gap higher on the back of uh, stronger inflation data from Germany. A potential uh, rally in the euro certainly hurting exports as well. Okay, although Mr. Weidman has attempted to uh, play that down. Also, uh, Mr. Uh, Haldane this morning as well has certainly attempted to play down the, the surge in sterling. So you're seeing the IBEX down, the FTSE MIB down, the CAC down 0.7%, uh, the DAX now 0.3%. So we'll see exactly where this uh, market is headed from a technical perspective. Okay, so again, Euro USD still above that 1.14 level, given the fact that yesterday's potential anonymous source uh, attempting to uh, take some hot air out of the, uh, the strength or the hawkishness in the Euro and that certainly has failed us far. Okay, so in terms of economic data this morning, uh, German uh, uh, consumer confidence coming in stronger than expected. Okay, uh, money supply date details from the uh, UK certainly coming in uh, on the uh, very side in the sense that we're certainly taking on more consumer credit. Okay, EU economic uh, sentiment, uh, industrial confidence and, uh, and business climate certainly all coming in stronger than expected. Uh, again, German inflation certainly is a cause for concern. Okay, uh, again, one to watch given the fact that uh, it indicates potential tapering down the road. Although Mr. Weidman has attempted to play that down, we're now awaiting the uh, jobless claims and uh, GDP numbers from the US, and that will obviously dictate sentiment. We also have Mr. Bullard later on as well. We've had Chinese trade coming in on the weaker side, Chinese trade. So a deficit, certainly a deficit coming in on the weaker side. So we'll see how the markets react according to that. Okay, in terms of okay, so in terms of technicals, let's move on to the technical picture now. Given the fact that U.S. markets certainly thrusted higher, I mean, just bringing up a chart of the U.S. Uh, markets. Let's just quickly go to the 60-minute chart here. You can see here what I mean. It's a very, very impressive thrust higher up to that 2440 zone on the uh, S&P 500. So again. Muchos respectos to the actual rally on the uh, S&P 500. Very, very impressive to say the least. Okay, now let's move on to the uh, actual uh, European indices. German DAX, uh, certainly on the daily chart. Let's just bring up the daily chart here for you folks. Okay, daily chart bearish uh, engulfing candle thus far. So the rally itself certainly has petered out. Although we are now coming into potential support. Okay, on the 10 minute chart, you can see that we're certainly... Uh, oversold now, okay, uh, looking to potentially uh, move higher. So, again, take that uh, on board, okay. In terms of the uh, French CAC, let's move on to the French CAC. Again, double bottom on the French CAC, certainly oversold now. Again, looking to bounce on this market at present. Ten daily chart as well, coming into support. Ten minute chart, double bottom. So, again, certainly all the bearish news certainly is baked in. In terms of FTSE 100, we've certainly retraced. We've certainly gapped high up to 7450. Only to certainly give it all back. We're currently into that Fib 61 7408 and therefore looking to potentially bounce there. We're waiting for Mr. Carney to talk. He should be talking in the next two or three minutes. It'll be interesting to see what he has to say. From my perspective, we've certainly built a base here now and we're looking for a higher high. Okay, so no more lower lows. Looking for a higher high. Double bottom is in and looking for a thrust higher. In terms of Euro stocks, last but not least, <clears throat> Euro stocks certainly oversold from my perspective. Certainly looks like it wants to bounce. We've had a pivot high at 3.555. <clears throat> the pivot low here has been at 3.51919. Again, double bottom is in. We're, from our trading perspective, once you uh, secure a double bottom, you're looking for a higher low. Take the pivot low to the pivot high. Retrace 50% thus far, and therefore now looking to potentially bounce from my perspective. Again, looking to target a gap above at 3.560, potentially touch the high at 3.55. So again, looking for a move higher in the markets at present. 
Okay, I think that's a good summation really of uh, European indices. Uh, initially, we gapped out on the back of US and Asian markets doing well. Then we gave all that back on the back of uh, obviously sterling breaking through that 1.3 zone. Euro passed that 1.14 zone. Again, currencies hurting the export side of the equation. And now we're looking to potentially reverse on that with a dollar uh, certainly into support. Okay, so I think that's a good summation really of European indices. Our conclusion really is that we're looking to bounce at this juncture. Goodbye now.